Today I'm going to show you how to print a pinback button design. The design's already finished, but we want to get it from the computer onto a piece of paper. Ideally, if you're going to print a pinback button, you want to put more than one design on the page so that way you're not wasting the sheet. You can recycle it later if you only have a few designs to print, but I'm going to show you how to create a tiled design with one design, and then we're going to print it and see how it looks. So let's get started. I have here the design that has a cut line around it, and you can see that there's a lot of white space between the design and where it's cut. This is on purpose, because one, you need the cut line in order to know where you need to cut it, and then there's all this white space because you want the design to, to breathe a little bit. And there's also the rim to consider, the rim of the button. If you bring this design all the way to the edge, then the design in the center is going to be off. I'll show you what that looks like later when you punch it, if you don't have enough bleed and give the design enough room. So what I'm going to do here is use Urfin View to make this into a tiled image. So I go to image, create tiled image. I know that I know from experience that I can fit 20 buttons onto an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So we want to have four designs across and five down. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And you see that they're all outlined here. And what I'm going to do is hit file, print, and then we're going to go print it. So let's go see what that looks like. So here it is, let's go cut it. So now we have the design printed. Next, we want to cut it. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to cut the design. If you have any questions, put questions in the comments or you can send me a tweet at nnfound for normal not found on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.